It was how quickly can I get in this very, very stressful situation, but get to a place where I'm calm, get to a place where I'm at least able to breathe, um, no less be in a peaceful breathing state. So you've been posting and talking about these breathing exercises um, a lot. And, you know, we'll walk by your office and see you doing them. <laughs> Can you tell me a little bit about them? Uh, yeah, so the Wim Hof breathing method, um, for those that are interested, you just download the app. I think it's Wim Hof method and it'll pop up. And when you open that up, there's like a, what does it say? Free guided breath, breathing. So it's a free app, everything. I've never paid for anything on it. Um, but using that is what I've been using mostly and it guides you and tells you what to do. But um, just to give you a quick little breakdown, so it's, it's a very specific breath that you're taking in. So you do 40 breaths, but it starts in your belly. So you're filling your belly up completely with air and then your chest. Um, the majority of people are shallow breathers. I know I'm a shallow, shallow breather, like high chest breathing. So it's breathing from your belly first, then your chest, fully, fully, fully in, and then you're not blowing fully out, you're just kind of letting, like kind of just relaxing the breath out. And then breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. And you're doing this 40 times, and then on the 40th one, you breathe deeply in, and then out, and once all the breath is out of your lungs, it starts a timer where you're basically holding your breath, but you don't have any breath. So I think they call it the retent, uh, or they call it the breath hold, but there's no oxygen, you know, it's, it's oxygen coming from other places in your body. And it's crazy because if you think about that, you're holding your breath, you've already let out your breath, like it's the most chaotic environment for your body to be in. Um, recently though, over the last week, I've been using it also for prayer. So in my breath hold, I'll pray. Uh, very specifically and some things that I say every time and I feel like that it's a very weird like connectedness that I feel like I have with God when I'm doing it because I'm not holding my breath or, or because I'm holding my breath so I'm not breathing and also I feel like it's been enabling me to hold my breath longer because my mind's not on oh crap I need to breathe I need to breathe I need to breathe I have no breath I need to breathe that I'm actually thinking of uh, thinking about specific people that I'm praying for and, and certain things the first time I did it um, normally when I do the breath hold, like my first round, it'll be like a minute 30, minute 40. And then each round it'll go up by like 20 to 30 seconds. The first time I did that where I was praying during the breath hold, the first round was 248 and the second round was 305. That's the only the third time I've ever been over three minutes ever before. And I've done this hundreds of times now. Um, so for me, that was like, oh, I think you were onto something. Um, but it's also created this like spiritual, um, kind of uh, benefit, I don't want to say benefit, but the spiritual element to it as well, which uh, for me is always super important because you know, there's a lot of things out there, practices out there, whether it's different types of meditation and all, and I feel like they go so far away from like it's the universe and connect with mother nature and connect with the soul. like which I'm like, I always try to think like, okay, how do I insert God into what they're saying so that I can really benefit from it? And I think that that's how I've done that for this. And it's been really, really powerful for me. It's, it seems like when I get done with the breathing, whether it's two rounds or five rounds, I seem to always have like a specific person that like becomes very heavy on my heart that I need to reach out to, which has been really cool. And when I've had those conversations, it's like, super evident that like I was supposed to call that person uh, like some crazy stuff like some calls where I've like literally just been like hey man um, don't know why I'm calling but I'm supposed to be calling you right now what's going on and then to hear them just like just unload some stuff that they're going through and for me to know that that was God in that moment using this crazy Wim Hof this you know guy from Poland, the Iceman, um, but it's creating those type of interactions for me is, is amazing. So yeah, I'd highly recommend it to anybody. You can't hurt yourself. You know, I mean, if you need to breathe, just breathe. Um, but it's, uh, it's, it's really been a powerful thing that I don't plan on stopping anytime soon.